Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today DJI has launched a brand new firmware update for the Mavic 3 series. Now this is a pretty substantial update with some incredible new features. This firmware update is for the entire Mavic 3 lineup, including the original Mavic 3, Mavic 3 Classic, and the Mavic 3 Pro, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating with today. Now, a couple of the features are specifically for the Mavic 3 Pro in that 3X camera, but the really impressive features are for all three drones. So let's go ahead here. We're going to get the drone up in the air. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be demonstrating with the Mavic 3 Pro here in front of me. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the features that are specific to just specific models first. So the first thing is with the seven times camera, if we switch over to it, you can see when we go to our camera settings, we now have the option to film in D-Log M and HLG in 10 bit color. Now the next update is for just the Mavic 3 Pro and it's to do with that 3X camera. If we switch over to it, we're now capable of filming night shots, master shots, quick shots and spherical panoramas. So we'll take a closer look at them here at the end of the video, but let's get into some of the really interesting updates. Now these updates are for the entire series, the Mavic 3, Mavic 3 Classic, and Mavic 3 Pro. Let's uh, get some altitude here. Switch back down to the one times camera. So the first is something called Vision Assist, and this is absolutely incredible. And we can access Vision Assist by launching our maps there. And what we can do is swipe. And what that's doing there now, you can see we have a black and white image. We can actually make that bigger to bring up the full size screen. And it's utilizing the obstacle avoidance cameras to give us a look around. We can look in four different directions. You can see there, we can actually see a motor. So that can be very useful if you're flying backwards and you really wanna be able to see what you're filming. So it's just a really nice safety feature and really interesting. Now it is only a black and white image, but it is just enough to make sure that there's nothing, no trees or obstacles in the way when you're flying in a direction that you can't really see. So let's go back out of there. Now the next feature is really interesting as well. They've added some augmented reality features. Now the first thing they've done there, you can see at the bottom of the screen, is they've added a virtual home point. Very similar to what they did with the DJI FPV and the DJI Avada. Let's uh, get away from the home point here and you'll see that. It'll move around depending on where the drone is positioned. So that virtual home point makes it very easy in a split second to locate where your home point is. You don't have to use your maps or your compass. You can just spin the drone around and just keep an eye out for where that home point is. And then you always know where to fly back to home which is really interesting as well. Now, the other thing that they've done here is added an AR return to home route. So if we initiate a return to home, you can see we now get this green line on the screen and it's gonna show us the route that the drone is taking home. So you can keep an eye on the screen to make sure there's no obstacles in the way and it'll just follow that path home. Now, when it comes to AR, the other thing that they've done here is added a drone shadow and landing. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna bring the drone down here And you can see here, when I put the camera down, we now have a drone shadow and it's going to pinpoint exactly where the drone is going to land. So if you're going to be landing on rocks or something, you can kind of get a good visual feel of where the drone is going to land. So another really great new feature. But we're not done yet. They've actually added a couple other interesting features, uh, something called frame guides. So to access that, if we go into our settings, we go over to camera, we'll just scroll down a little bit here. You can see there we have something called frame guide. Right now it's set to off, but we can set it to whatever kind of aspect ratio we want. Let's do a vertical video, nine by 16. You can see when we go out of there now, what we have here is some blacked out areas on the side. Now the video that is recorded to the drone is still gonna be in a aspect ratio of nine by 16. This is just for visual reference. So if you're gonna be filming for TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts, it'll just help you line up your shots, similar to what they did with the Air 3, with the blacked out areas on the side, except with the Air 3, it will actually crop the video for you. This is just more for reference. And you can change that to whatever aspect you wanna film in. So if you wanna film in square, 
you can set it to a square. And again, it's just going to help you line up your shots to make sure everything is framed correctly. So again, another nice new feature. And lastly here, if we go to our settings, I'm just going to actually disable that first. If we go to safety and we go down to advanced safety settings, we can now disable the downward vision positioning. So that's good if you're going to be landing in fog. If you've ever tried to land in a foggy day, uh, sometimes those sensors can give you errors and it won't let you come down. Or if you're going to be landing with a lot of obstacles, again, it will just help you land. Now, it's very important to note that if you disable that, the drone may not hover stably, as it does require those vision sensors in order to help keep it, uh, keep it stable. So just keep that in mind. But definitely a nice new feature. Now, when it comes to the AR settings that we've demonstrated, we can adjust them. We can enable and disable certain ones. Again, if we go into our settings, we'll go to the safety tab, we'll scroll down. You can see we have this new section called AR settings. We can go in there and we can disable and enable the AR home point, the AR return to home route, and the aircraft shadow. So if you don't want to use them or you do want to enable them, you can do so there. So there you have it, folks. Those are the new firmware updates for the Mavic 3 series. Now this was just a quick look at some of the new features. I'm gonna make some more in-depth videos going a little bit more into detail for each one. I'm gonna do a full demonstration of master shots using the 3X camera. We'll check out the night mode for the 3X camera and some of the new AR features. Well folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated and we'll see you in the next one.